everyone thank you so much for joining me today today I've got my grocery haul and but before starting with the grocery haul I do we're gonna go to my kitchen and I'll share my grocery haul I'm not gonna share it up here but I did want to touch upon a few things first of all as always my disclaimer that I am NOT a nutritionist I am NOT a health care provider I am a 64 year old on this journey to lose weight so far at the time of this recording i have shed 80 pounds however it has i haven't weighed myself this week my weigh-in day used to be thursdays they're now wednesday so i will have my actual weight loss it's on the the title and and on my thumbnail so that's the first thing the other thing i am not affiliated with weight watchers in any way or ww as they are now referred to i started out on weight watchers the blue plan and since then it has changed to personal point i have basically i always feel i always feel that you know if something isn't broken why fix it the blue plan was working fine for me. I didn't go in and change everything. However, I do receive additional points for the vegetables that I eat and for my walking, the amount of water that I drink, that I will get additional points. You get additional points for your weekly. I'm going to do a video probably for next week on a cheat sheet day. So you kind of, you can see how I grab from those additional points that I have in the week. Then for my water and vegetables, there are points added to the day. I start off with 22 points and then a, a, depending on which vegetables I have and the amount that I have, I get additional points in the day. That's just a way of Weight Watchers encouraging, encouraging us to eat a little bit healthier, to incorporate some more vegetables, to incorporate some water, to incorporate some kind of exercise, if you will. I love Weight Watchers because, or WW, because I don't feel as if I'm on a diet. You, It doesn't matter if you are on low carb. It doesn't matter if you're vegetarian. It doesn't matter if you just want to eat red meat. It does it really does not matter you can cater it to the way you eat not what I eat or what another uh, member of WW what they eat. you the beauty of this program is that it teaches us moderation and it teaches us portion control if you watched my last video I explained to you why I gained weight in the first place not that I'm not eating them, I'm just not eating the amounts that I was of certain foods. I love vegetables. I love fruits. I, I prefer to eat low carb. That's my preference. So for those of you that prefer those types of food, perhaps I'll be able to help you. I also do not eat red meat. I am not a vegetarian. I just, I feel better without eating the red meat i feel better not having all the carbs but that's just me you do not have to do that the other thing i always take my phone with me to the grocery store i scan everything with the app and it tells me immediately how much how many points are in that in that food so if i feel that it has too many points I won't put it in my cart. I won't bring it home. I'll leave that to have at a restaurant, for example, on my cheat sheet day. Let's head down to my kitchen. I'll share with you my grocery haul. And this grocery haul, it's, it'll probably be enough food for me for about three weeks. All right, here we are back in my kitchen. I think I remember all of the points on everything, but anything that I can't remember, I will certainly leave it across the screen. I got two packages of the Premier Protein. These are three points each, and these are new ones. These taste like peanut butter cups. They're peanut butter and chocolate. So good. I usually have one of these 
like in the afternoon if I if I just feel like munching on something or rather not munching but if I'm if I'm getting a little hungry and I don't want to spoil my dinner or anything like that so and these are 30 grams of protein so I always love to have these I also I also uh, purchase the ones that are caramel because I like to have it sometimes in my coffee and these are great if I only have like two ounces it's not going to add any points and it's going to give it a little bit of a sweetness to it if you will without adding any extra points and not having any sugar this is the Bragg apple cider vinegar I go through these because I have it before each meal and first thing in the morning before I go on my walk, before I have my coffee, I always put it in about two tablespoons. I feel that it really helps with my bloating. It helps with the belly fat. I think it is amazing. I only purchased two Honeycrisp apples. And the reason I did that is because apples, I love apples, but they have, they are high in sugar. After bananas, apples are your probably your next highest in sugar i mean there's lots that are high in sugar but apples are one of them so what i do to try to keep my sugar i mean these are zero points all foods are zero points but i also try to watch my sugar intake i will just uh, slice it up and i might have a couple of pieces in the morning uh, i might have a few pieces between my breakfast and lunch. Maybe I'll have some between my lunch and dinner. I'll just have um, a wedge or two of it, but I love apples. I also get the um, PB2, tastes just like peanut butter, very low points. I think it's got one or two points and I have it with some apple. Of course, if you're not, if you don't need to watch or you don't want to watch your sugar intake, then by all means have some apples. My favorite fruit to um, that are low in sugar, your lowest in sugar will be your berries. And the lowest in sugars are your blackberries, raspberries, and your strawberries. So what I do with these, I will wash them in a little while and I'll portion them out. I use them in my smoothies. I put them in the freezer, that way I could make sure that they're fresh and they don't go bad because I'm certainly not going to eat that much of them in one day. I portion them out into about a cup servings, just about, I don't measure it out, I just eyeball it, but I'll wash them, I'll core them, and I'll put them in individual baggies with a combination of the three. As I mentioned, I love vegetables and I try to buy fresh as much as I possibly can. I get mushrooms and spinach, and this I usually uh, have for my breakfast. Two eggs, and I add a cup of spinach and a cup of mushrooms, and my breakfast will be zero points. I like to get the cherry tomatoes because these will last, they stay fresh a little bit longer is my opinion. I have these for snacks. I put them in my salads. You have zero points, plus you get an extra point for having a cup. So I definitely have a cup a day of my cherry tomatoes. Sweet peppers. I love these. I love the small ones. Two of these will give me an extra point. When I make my salad, if I'm having a salad for dinner, I'll take one cup, two cups of the uh, spring mix. It doesn't have any points, but it'll give me a point. For dinner sometimes or for lunch, I'll have spring mix, sweet peppers, cucumbers, and red cabbage. I usually have two cups of the spring mix. I add about half a cup of the cabbage, I add about half of the cucumber. Just make it to your own taste. But what, I, what I'm trying to say is that when you have salads like this, on this new program, 
you're going to add points in. So let, this is really, I think, for me, it just, I enjoy it. But if you're someone who, who wants to have, let's say some fried fish, or you want to have a, a steak, for example, those points are going to be reduced with a salad like this because you get points back, if that makes any sense. I found some great recipes using cauliflower and basically the cauliflower florets um, marinated in some barbecue sauce or some spaghetti sauce with some mozzarella cheese and air fried and that looked really good. So instead of having pizza, if I just want to have that pizza scent, I could have some cauliflower. I'll let you know next week after I try it and maybe I'll record it so I could show you. But that sounded really good to me. Got some iceberg lettuce. Lettuce. I usually don't buy iceberg lettuce, but I really wanted to make some wedge salads. The dressing that I always use, and I use different flavors, but it's from Skinny Girl. I get this one because it's zero points and they taste really good. We have, I think it's 15 calories on this. I like the Chipotle Ranch. This is my favorite one. It's a little bit spicy. I think it's perfect and I could, I could add it to chicken. I could add it to fish. I really, really like this. I found this today and it's oat flour. I wanted to add some flowers, but I didn't want, I, I didn't want to add the point. I, I tried to find alternatives that are either healthy, low in points, anything along those lines. And I found the oat flour. This has 110 calories for a quarter cup. I can't, I'll write it across the screen, but it was only like two points. I probably won't have a quarter cup, but I could use it on fish. I could use it if I want to thicken a sauce and I'm saving on the points. And I believe that this is a little bit healthier than the other flour. I don't know. I'll check it and I will certainly let you know. I like to have these on hand. These are the Atkins Indulge. This one's strawberry cheesecake. These have four points. I don't have this every day and I don't have more than one on the day that I have it. But I like to have it in the afternoon as a, as a treat with a cup of coffee. They taste really good. They're 130 calories and they have three grams of net carbs. I thought I'd give the chia seeds a try two tablespoons, I believe it's two, I, I believe it's two points, 120 calories. There's 10 grams of fiber, four grams of protein. So I thought about adding it to my smoothie to add some extra fiber. I'll let you know how that works out. These are the, I think I've, I've, I must have talked about these tons of times before. I really like these tortillas because they're only 50, uh, 50 calories, only one point. So if I want to have a low point breakfast, I could have a breakfast burrito with eggs and spinach and mushrooms and it's only one point. So my whole breakfast will only be one point and it's very filling. This is not the healthiest thing in the world, but Sometimes we want to have a little treat and because I'm still on, on that mode that I, I want to lose the, I want to shed that weight, I get these Jell-O chocolate puddings. These are the sugar-free. These have two points. Again, not something I eat every day, but if I feel like having something sweet I, or chocolate, I will have one of these. Of course, you could make this yourself but I'm always running out of time, so I make it easy on myself. The Jell-O sugar-free, these have zero points. Again, something sweet that I could have and it's not going to add points, but I still get my sweet fix. I actually bought a case of 18 of the sparkling ice. This counts towards my water, my 100 ounces or 120 ounces that I have per day and 
It has, it counts towards the water. It only has five calories. It has vitamin A, uh, niacin, biotin, vitamin D, no carbs, vitamin B12, love these. I also started uh, buying these. These are the Zo. I always think he's near me. These are the ZOA, Zo, zero sugar, 10 calories, lots of vitamins. These do have caffeine, so it's a nice pick-me-up in the afternoon. I'm leaving my glasses on so I could actually read. I got the, I, I had never had these before. These are by Bird's Eye. One serving per container. There are 380 calories, and this one, the Southwest style, has 71 grams of carbs. So this is high in carbs, and that's because it has the quinoa, and it's got black beans, Therefore, we're going to have higher carbs. It does have 15 grams of protein, and there are only two or three points. Again, not something I'll have every day, but I think that it will be something really good for dinner if I just want something very quick, and I wanted to try it and let you know about it. Also, in these power blends, there's this one. It's the Italian style. Lentils, broccoli, leafy greens white beans, lentil, zucchini, orzo pasta in an Italian style sauce, 16 grams of protein. Again, high in carbs, uh, 50 grams of carbs, but we have 15, we have 15 grams of, of fiber and 16 grams of protein, 350 calories. This one I think had uh, three points and maybe this one was two points. It was something like that. But because my lean protein are all zero points, I really don't have to concern myself so much about those points. And I buy lots of bags of the frozen green beans. Not something I eat every day, but I do like to have them on hand because I could just saute some with chicken, add some mushrooms, and the chicken that I get, is this Tyson grilled ready. It's already diced, it's oven roasted, zero points for me, and I just saute it because it's already cooked. So I just saute it in, in the olive oil, the, the spray olive oil, and I have a great dinner that's ready in 10 minutes. That is my grocery haul for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.